what's going on guys so in this video we're gonna create a modal so when the user clicks add friend we're gonna show a little modal and then that's where they're gonna fill out their the username of the friend that they want to add so I'm just gonna make um, a component real quick and it's gonna be called add friend modal JSX and so we're just gonna render this in our sidebar component and we're gonna keep it um, separated from the actual sidebar so it's going to be a sibling of the sidebar. So we want to render add friend modal right there. Just like that. And then so we can go in here and get started on the modal. Right. So I'm going to follow this uh, documentation right here as a guide. It's a chalky UI documentation here. Right. So we uh, render the modal right here and we want to pass some props, some props called is open and on close. Right. So this uh, this determines if the model is open or closed. And we have this button here that we want to control uh, when the model opens. So here they give us um, some nice a nice hook that we can use. So in our sidebar parent component right here, we can uh, call the use disclosure hook and it gives us um, is open, on open and on close. And this is really all we need to control a modal, right? So this button right here that we have, uh, this one right here, we pass it in the on the on click event. We want it to call on open. So this will open and close. Well, actually, just open the modal, and then this is open and on close uh, um, objects, not object uh, fields that we get from the object. We pass it in as a prop to the modal. So is open is equal to is open and on close is equal to on close and is open basically determines if the model is open or not and on close determines um, you know that we call that function when we want to close the model so here we're going to expect props and we can destructure that and, and the props are is open and on close right and in the modal we pass in the prop is open is equal to is open just like that okay so first thing we want to render here is the modal overlay and this is just the black the black background behind the modal okay and then here we want to render the modal content right this is where all the content of the modal will be and so we want a modal header and here we'll just have a, a header of the modal it's going to be called add a friend right and then under the header is the contents of the modal or not not the content the modal body I'm sorry okay so we got the modal body and then under the body will be the modal footer okay and so um, in the footer we're gonna have a button and I'm actually gonna copy this button from right here okay and so all this button does is let me actually import the button because uh, it's not importing this button is going to be like the submit button on our form on our add friend form and it's also going to close the model because we pass in the on close prop so let me just get rid of this margin right here and change this to say submit like that and let's test it out perfect Right, and we want to add an X button on the top right of the model to let users uh, close the model like that. Okay, so over here under the header, we add modal and what is it called? Close button. Yep, okay, and um, now we have it. So, but if you notice when we click the black background, it's not doing anything, that's because we didn't pass on close or what is it that we have to pass? on close yep okay so we pass here on close is equal to on close and now it'll close when we click the background okay and when we click submit it also closes because we passed in the on close function on the on click and this is we want to make this the type of submit because we're going to have a form that users can submit to our backend when they want to add a friend to their friend list 
okay so now okay in this modal body if you remembered in the previous episodes we made this component over here called a text field where it just renders an input with a label and all those things and if uh, you don't know what I'm talking about I'd suggest you check out the video in the series that I made it's called like something like chalker UI formic form and I go through everything so here we're just gonna keep it on a higher level but if you want to know how to do these text fields go over and check that out okay so I'm gonna move this text field up a level because we're not just using it in the login we're using it um, in the home so I don't want it to be just in the login folder I want it to be everywhere else as well and I just want to update uh, these imports right here right and so now let's use this text field um, in our modal right here so we render a text field and it takes in some props so it takes in a label and the label of this will be enter friends name right placeholder actually um, in the label it will just be friends name and then in the placeholder text it'll just be equal to enter friend friends username right and then we want to set auto complete is equal to off and name is equal to friend name just like that okay and it's not working because we're not um, using formic so here we have this button here that's submitting our form and this text field right so we want to wrap these all of this right here in a formic component so let's just do that let's, let's render the formic component like that and we put it under here mm -hmm. and then we want it to also have a form and this is going to let us do um, it's going to submit it when we click the button automatically for us Right. So when we have the form here, it submits the form um, whenever we click it. We don't have to uh, do we don't, we don't have to access the on submit event. We, it just does it for us. So here in the initial values prop, we pass in an object that has friend name. It initializes it as an empty string. And on the on submit prop, it's a function takes in our values and some actions that we can do on our form. And I know I'm not going too much in detail. This is it's because this video is not um, is not based on Formic. I already made like two videos about that. This is just making a form in a modal, basically. So here, all we want to do is for now. I always like to just alert uh, JSON stringify values null two. I always like to do that while I'm debugging, and then actions dot reset form okay so now when we open this up we type and let's click submit there it is it did the alert and after that it closes it if we don't have the alert it just resets our form and closes it so like that okay so this is going to work and i want to center this modal i don't want it to be such uh so high up on the screen i want it to be in the middle of the screen so you can pass in this prop called is centered and just like that, it's centered in the middle of the screen, okay? And we also want to do some client-side validation on this form, right? So we don't want users spamming us, right, and sending that to our server. And either way, users uh, cannot make accounts more than 28 characters, so there's no point in letting you uh, people try to add a friend that has more than 28 characters, because either way, that's not valid. So let's go over here to our common package right here and um since in this series we're only going to do two form schemas i'm just going to stick it in here but normally you would create another file right let's just do const um friend schema is equal to yup dot object and if you want to know about yup like i said watch the formic chalk ui video that i made 
and you'll see all about it. So here we're just going to have a friend name is equal to yup dot string dot required. And we'll say uh, username required. So this will be the error message if they don't fulfill this constraint. And we do dot min dot min. Oops, I keep messing up dot min. So it's a minimum of six characters. And if they don't follow that constraint, it will be invalid username and dot max 28 characters. And if they don't follow that, do the same thing. Invalid username. Okay, and that's pretty much all we need. And we can just export this in this object. So friend schema like that. And we can go over here to our front end and do import friend schema from at WhatsApp clone common. All right, and then over here we can do validation schema is equal to friend schema. Oh, what's going on? Oh, um, I did hear capital F and yeah, it's a uh, lowercase f, so like that. So when we enter a username that's with one character, and we want we don't want it to close when um, when the user entered or like the validation schema detected that it was an invalid input. We don't want it to close right away. So let's take off the on close from this button and just stick it over here. So we just call on close. So now it doesn't submit, but when it's a valid thing, it submits and we can get rid of the alert. So you'll see here when it's on, when it's valid, it just submits right away like that. Right. And, let's, and it actually resets the form for us when the modal closes. So we don't have to even call reset form. So we really don't need any arguments in the on submit just like that. We'll probably need it later on um, when we're sending data to the back end. So yeah, we need we only need the values. Okay. So this is it. Really, this is all that we needed. This is just and let's try adding that. See invalid, it doesn't go. So yeah, that's the modal. Um, and the next episode we'll see we'll probably start working on the back end. So yeah, I'll see you then.